Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is all about me. Today is Thursday and Sophie went shopping yesterday with me and what'd you get Sophie? Breeches. Molly. She got breeches, she got new breeches. My kids are weird, I had to force her to get new breeches. Do you like these kind? No. I liked these breeches. I, As a mom forced me to get a different pair that I hated. Yeah, I forced her to get these ones and another pair because she didn't like these pair either. Turn around and show them. I just them. didn't like the color on What me. brand are they? Um, Carrots. Tough Rider. Tough Rider, I think they're called. Anyway, and she it in my phone. can fit her phone. And it goes all the way down to here in the pocket. Yeah, that's crazy. That'd be hard if you put horse treats in there. You'd be digging all the way down to China to get them. Mm -hmm. Turn around, show them your butt. And I have the same one on the other side. Yeah, super cute. Show them in the back. I like them because I like breeches that have this line here. She likes them because they're nice and high, right? Yeah, they go up higher. Yeah, super cute. Love them. Yeah. And the fact that Sophie wearing breeches today should give you a clue that we have another lesson today. A hook. Oh, give me that. We need that pull through. Take that down in the barn today. Molly, you're interrupting our vlog. I Probably in the drawer some still. New treats that I want to try. Awesome. Over there. Awesome. I'll awesome. Get them to show you. All right. It is 8 a.m., you guys, and it's kind of dark in here, kind of dark and dreary outside. It's going to be another day today, like it was yesterday. Dark and wintry. Okay, these are the treats. Oh, yeah, she bought these as well. Um, I cut them all in half because Finn doesn't need this much sugar. Yeah, that's a good idea. Good job. See, you train them not to eat sugar, and suddenly they don't even want their horse to eat sugar. No, because Finn's a really energetic pony mm -hmm. sometimes. Mm-hmm. And he can't have that much sugar. Yeah. Yep. If I gave him like this whole bag in one day, he'd be galloping around like crazy pony all day. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, I don't know about that. But anyways, welcome to today. Gabby is up, ready to go. Are you ready to go? Gabby, you told me you were going to get up at 7 o'clock, set your alarm for 6.30 actually, get up and have a shower. Not have a shower. I had one last night. Oh, so what happened to setting your alarm and getting up? My alarm went off. I just didn't get up. I didn't hear even hear it go off. Oh, well, it went off and I had to turn it off. And then you went back to sleep? That's what I do. <laughs> and then, oh, so I woke up in the middle of, in the, middle of the night because I had no blankets. And so, like, they were on my bed. They were just in a box. Molly's just like, if you want to vlog peacefully, get the heck out of my kitchen. Go ahead. Um, so I woke up and you know the wall that my bed's against? Um, not where my pillows are. My head was there. And it was cuddled up. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy stuff, Sophie. Ow. So Sophie and I headed out already early this morning at <laughs> 8 a.m. 8 a.m. 817. Oh gosh, 817. I'm super late now. I gotta run. We are headed to pick up Baby Jack because it's our day with Baby Jack. I'm excited. I'm excited to see him. I'm excited to spend time with him. I got some new toys for him since I the last time he's been here. Sophie brought her to school in the car. I'm gonna need help. Because she's gonna need help. Okay, so uh, there's an unspoken rule Keep in our house. My kids are so super competitive that they always want to try and be at the first one done in school. So that's what they're doing. Gabby's already, Sophie was nervous that Gabby was going to be at finished school first. So she brought all her schoolwork <laughs> with her instead of do it later. But anyway, yeah, we're headed out and we'll see you guys when we get baby Jack. Say hi. Say hi. All right, you guys, we got the Jack attack. I call him the Jack attack. Are you the Jack attack? He's like, hey, don't touch my fingers. <laughs> touch your fingers. Oh. <laughs> He is like the happiest little baby of life. Oh, he needs new shoes. Nana's gonna have to buy you new shoes. Anyways, we are headed to Nana's house. Nana has new toys for you. You wanna go see Nana's new toys? You wanna see Nana's new toys? He's like, I do not understand black boxes staring at my face. Say bye-bye. Okay, so he was talking and happy and excited and now he's just staring at me. You guys have a bad effect on him. Are you shy of the day, fam? Are you shy of them? He's like a little. 
<laughs> Let's go. So we got baby Jack home and this is the first time he's ever seen his car and he was afraid of it. <laughs> look, at, look at his his up and down action when he's driving. He's like he's been on a bus before. This is your new car, Jack. This is hilarious. <laughs> he doesn't know that it actually does move. Look, here's the key. Look. Turn the key. You can turn the key. That's it. Vroom, vroom. He just car off. Yeah, he just turned it off. Beep, beep. Look, this is the horn right here. It doesn't work. Beep, beep. Anyway, he also found a rock, which is what is uh, in his other hand. Rocks, cars, he's a boy. I got him this car at a yard sale a couple weeks ago and it has a back spot. It's a truck, actually. I mean, you can't have a farm grandson. You can't have a horsey grandson without a truck. And so I think his new sister, Aria, could probably sit in the back and he could drive her around or vice versa. One thing that's weird about us, or maybe it's not weird, but we don't watch very much TV. So I have the TV on for baby Jack so that he can watch it while he's playing with his toys. And while well, I get a couple of things done, and it's funny, because even though it's like a baby show, the girls are glued to the TV. So we have bad news on the chicken front. Mama buried her baby. I have to go in there and get it out. I don't know if you guys can see, but it died last night. At least we think it's dead. It wasn't doing very well. We left it with its mom. And then I think she buried it. She moved all the newspaper. I put newspaper underneath the shavings. She wasn't meant to rip up all the newspapers, but she did, because she's a good mama. She's trying to, maybe she's trying to protect the grave site. I don't know. But it amazes me every single day, like how amazing animals are and how like they instinct, instinctually know how to take care of stuff. But she, it's pretty sure she buried her baby over there. She's, she's keeping him safe right now from us. All right, so I found him. I was right. She buried him. Now she's looking for him. Like chickens know. Animals know. I bur she buried him. Like that's just crazy to me that she would know. Like I'm not going to lie. Searching through all the shavings to try and find a dead baby chick is not my favorite thing to do. <laughs> it's not my favorite. When you find it, you scream even though you're expecting to find it. Don't do that because you're, you're wrecking your food and your water. Anyway, so out of all that fiasco, all we got was one little baby chick, and I'm okay with that. I hope it's not a rooster. I hope you're a hen. It's super healthy, super in love with its mama, and the mom is a great mom. I'm in love with her. She's been great. She's like, give me some food, some treats. <laughs> Jack has got a mind of his own. He's like, let me run in the grass. Look, Jack, look at Nana. Jack. He doesn't realize that he's on a hill or what hills do, I don't think. I could just watch him forever. He's such a funny little boy. Oh, you found grass? Oh. Mom, can you buy me sunglasses? On? When they're that easy to impress, you could give them a cardboard box and they'll be happy. I'm down to throw lunch. It's crazy how the last two days have taken us away from our horses in a huge way. All right, let's guess. I know I say this all the time. What is behind is door number one? It's a willow Mom, and a Gracie. What's behind this door? Baby Jack. Hello. I this afternoon has turned out to be a glorious day. It's beautiful. There you go. Have that. Oh my goodness. Look at that hair's growing. She's turning into a woolly mammoth already. Hello, fancy meeting you here. Do you need new food, fresh food? We came to feed you lunch. Oh, come here, kitty. Oh, she's just purring away. Can you hold her? <laughs> Are you glad you're the, old, the youngest, Sophie? Look, Jack. A kitty. He's like, I want to play in here. I have to set it down. You have to set him down. It's a him. Gabby did chores this morning. Just wait. Let him have a turn. What do you think? Oh, big kisses. Jack. Jack has a new. Jack has a new baby sister, so he knows all about love. Look at. She just loves him. No, it's because you're petting her. Oh. She looks like she's comfy on him. You see the kitty? 
Look at the kitty. My cat's outside. Give her a pat. Oh, he's like, don't touch my little tree. Uh oh, careful. Give him a pat. Aww. Wow. Wow. He's, yeah, he wants to go. He wants to go play. Don't touch anything that's brown, Jack. <laughs> Wow. He's like, this is the biggest playroom I've ever seen. It is now officially 25 degrees out and Sophie's still wearing her winter coat. Oh wow. oh wow. She loves it. She loves her winter coat. I'm on a hunt for a good winter coat. I want a long one like I wore last year. Anyway, we dropped the baby off. Not gonna lie, babies are hard when you're old. Even though he's the best baby on the whole planet, he's so easy. We're headed into Walmart so I could buy him some new shoes. Sophie's so sore from her fall. And Gabby. Gabby's ignoring us. So essentially, Jack's mom went to put his shoes on this morning to come to our house and they were too small. She just had a baby, so she hasn't been out. Hang she, so she hasn't been out and she can't really get out. So I said I'd come and get him a pair of shoes. Mm -hmm. I like these, they're so cute. Mm -hmm. I also like these. Do you guys like these? They're adorable. I think they're too big though. These are contenders. We found gray ones that we really like, and we found the brown ones that we really like. Yeah, we also found glow ones, ones that glow that I think he would love, but they're so heavy, especially for his size. Like, they're heavy as heck. Gabby's having a great time shopping. Why don't you go pick out something for yourself? Are you sick? Are you tired? No, I'm car sick. Oh. I looked at my phone on the car. Oh. That's not good. The girls disappeared, went off on their own, and came back with the two bags that look like this. Because I'm saving some for the barn. The beef jerky? Yeah. I got jalapeno beef jerky and chips. Gabby's feeling and sick popcorn. from Karthik. And I got some yeah, outfits. Yeah, because that's what happens when I'm in oh the For baby Jack. Horrible. You like them? Yes. It's going to be winter soon. Big. I love kids. I love kids too. All right, let's push Gabby. Gabby, you want to climb in? I'll say that you. Our car sick. It's been a revolving car ride. That is all it's been today. It's been crazy. It's been busy. We spend so much time with you guys and with our horses that when real life steps in and I have to watch my grandkids or my grandkids come over or we end up having to go places and do stuff with other people, it's hard to get to get it together and it's hard to vlog. But now we are headed to the barn. We're having lessons with Brandon. We had lessons yesterday with Fiona. Having lessons with Brandon and the other girl that's in our group page, and I'm excited to see our horses. And the day before yesterday, we had a lesson with Brandon. No, we had lessons last week, a week ago with Brandon. What? Feels like a day before yesterday. I'm confused. It, the weather is getting cold. It's getting colder out. Like all of us are wearing coats and stuff. Like it's insane. Somebody, uh, one of my friends, messaged me from the states and said that they had snow the other day. So. Anyway, let's go see what the boys are up to. Hopefully they don't run to us. This time we're gonna take, if they're not already in their stall, it's at five o'clock, so they might already be in their stall. Um, hopefully they're in their stall. Hopefully, hopefully they're in their they're stall. Not. It's great. Yeah, like, yeah, we don't like to run until at least an hour after they have great. So anyways, we're gonna see, and we'll see you guys there. Hey, we are here, and I'm gonna try something new. At the risk of ruining our video, does it look like it's ruining? Our videos have been kind of blurry lately, and I don't know why. I might need to get another camera. These cameras usually last us about a year, and then we have to buy a new one. So it might be that, but I'm going to try shooting in a different setting and see if it makes a difference. So wish me luck, and let's see if it works. That's nope, that's old. I saw that the, yeah. leather, the other day. You might be touching it. Yeah, we know. We're here. Okay. We're here. So, that's gotten worse from some... Reason. Oh, it, yeah. And that's gone. Oh, those are new. That's not new. No, he just that's new. His skin off. Yeah. That doesn't look new. I wonder he if he's itchy. Every time I see, like. And then that is worse. Oh, my goodness. Did you pour medicine on. Uh, storm now. On Storm? So they just finished eating. So we're going to have to wait an hour. Oh, wow. He's got a lot of mud on there, Gabby, on that belly. I'm not going to lie. I cannot deal with Storm's cuts. Like his big cut. It looks exactly the same. It looks exactly the same? Yeah. Take a picture of it? Just not covered in my mouth. 
Yeah, can you take a picture of it? I took a picture of it before. You see what it looks like. So we're putting powder on it, a powder. We're leaving it uncovered and putting a powder. Well, he's got lots of hay in there. Oh, look at his belly. Yeah. All that mud. Yeah. I worked in nursing for 22 years and I did a lot of stuff, like a lot of stuff. But as I've gotten older, I can't, I can't stomach it. Yeah. I can't stomach it, especially with my horses. Like with our pets, pets. it bothers me. Yeah, so Sophie's wearing new pants. I forgot to show you what else she got. She got two pairs of new pants. And she hated these ones because she hated the color. I just she's... didn't like the color. I didn't hate them. Oh, it looks there like it's go. healing. Messy? But it, but the, she so loves the pockets. Like she can put anything in those pockets. Let's show them a picture. Here, hold it. So this is it. It, it definitely looks a million oh, times I better. Myself. Like it looks like it's all closing in. A person made Finn feel very what? happy. A person made Finn feel really happy? Yeah. How? She said that he was cute. Oh, did that make Finn feel really happy or yeah. you? Yeah. You. And angry. We're all dressed for winter here. Well, you got cold. stuff all over you. I know, I'm cold too. It starts down so well when you put a nose cut. I know. Literally, I have his leg up, like you pick up his leg and then you take the powder, put it on and then with your finger pat it and Really well. So we put it on, we try and put it on like when we get here and then we put it on again before we leave just to make sure that it gets in there. I, can't I, fell off yesterday. I still can't believe you fell off yesterday either and nobody saw, <laughs> like nobody even was paying attention. I do like my no bag because it can oh, hang up. So that's these cool. clips come off. Like Why don't you bit? hang it on the opposite side? Like put it, I guess he'd chew, the, chew it, wouldn't he? Yeah, oh, that's too bad, because if she hung that around, she could just keep it on her stall all the time. Okay, you guys, whose tail are we looking at? Whose tail? It's Finn. He's never had that color of a tail before He's in his half life. It's yellow. It looks brighter in the ca camera. Let me see if I can fix it. It's actually like a brown tail. There we go. Hi, handsome. He's so good in here now. Yeah, you are. Yes, you are. Such a good boy. Yes. You need some love too, huh? Look at how tired he looks. Yeah, you're okay. Proud of you. So proud of you. Sometimes I, I, now I just need to get past the refusing fear. Yeah, yeah. Sophie did amazing, you guys. This is the locker that we're getting. It's not cleaned out yet for us, but this is a locker. Like, isn't it huge? It holds. We can have another shelf. Four. Four. The horse, it holds four saddles and everything you could ever want. Wait, like, only... I'll get some stuff and we can organize it. Wait, so, I'm getting this whole thing for myself. <laughs> I don't know where my towel's gonna go. I mean, my saddle pads, because I always hang them up. Sophia puts them on her saddle. I can't I put it. the I put the one that you know, always uses on my saddle. Alright, yeah. super cool. Um, I'm on my saddle stand. Okay. Yeah, that, that works. And then Kaylee can have those too. Yeah. All right. Wants. That's good. All right. So uh, that is it, you guys. We are going home to feed our ponies, edit our videos. That was seriously one of Sophie's best lessons ever. She's accelerating so fast now. It, it feels. Oh, look at the sunset. I know. We could can you guys see it? Up there oh, the it's so is. bright. It's so bright in the camera. You can't really see. Let's see if I can get it to. Can I see the you sunset? See that's where the hill is. That's you where the girls. That's where the girls ride. It's beautiful. Don't you know that you're beautiful?